Here, I want to simulate an articulated vehicle reversing into a loading bay at a warehouse. To do this, I'll start by selecting the 2D arc path and placing my vehicle onto the road. I will then drive forward in the normal manner and position my vehicle at the end of the turning area next to the building. In order to reverse the vehicle, I pull the cursor back through the body of the vehicle. Using the standard drive mode, this generates a steady arc, which is not suitable for aligning vehicles up to parking bays or loading bays. Therefore, I'm going to need to select Generate Corner Path, and then I can select the Sweep Angle and select an existing geometry. This will help align my vehicle up into the bays. Left click to position the vehicle, right click to finish driving. If I want to remove this last position of the vehicle, then I would have to select delete last section and select the vehicle path. If I wish to continue driving from this previous position, then I need to select the continue simulation button Ensure that Continue Simulation is selected here on the pop-up window and select the vehicle path. Pull the vehicle cursor back through the body of the vehicle again and now I can choose a different loading bay. When I position the vehicle in this final loading bay, we can see some red warning messages appearing. What's happened? It says obstacle conflict has occurred. This polyline here is set to the TS obstacle layer and therefore any vehicle path that comes into contact with any object on the TS obstacle layer will generate this conflict warning. So this will allow you to easily identify any potential design issues.